Hello, and welcome to SISD TV News, where we deliver the latest news about the Socorro Independent School District. In our top story, Pebble Hills High School quarterback Kenneth Cooper is being held a hero after rescuing a six-year-old girl while his family was at a Galveston beach. During a teleconference board meeting on July 21st, Cooper was recognized by the SISD community for his bravery. We had noticed there was a little girl uh, out in the, in, the, in the water and she was past the warning signs. Everybody was in shock and I looked at my dad and my mom and they were shocked as well. So I told my dad, you know, I'm just gonna go out there and help her. As I was swimming over there, I realized that she was slipping off the boogie board that she was on. I grabbed her and I asked her, why weren't you screaming for help or anything? And she was telling me that she was nervous and that she was scared. But she kept on trying to swim back and the waves just kept on taking her deeper into the water. So if I was in that situation, I'd also want somebody else to help me. It was just a blessing that I was able to help her and put her at the right place at the right time. It's very refreshing to hear that there's good stories and there's a lot more KJs in the world and it's because of his parents at home. And it is reinforced when they get here to school. You know, we have great teachers and assistant coaches here on this campus. And we have great parents and great kids like the ones we're talking to right here. So I'm, I'm very proud of him and I'm very proud that, that he's a part of our program. You know, as a parent, you always try to instill those values in your in your children. And you just hope, you know, as they grow older, they'll use those and they'll remember what you've taught them. And it's, it's really nice to see that he's learned and he's grasping what we've been teaching him and the values that we're trying to instill in all our children. You know, the old saying, it takes a village. Coach Torres does a great job with the character lessons. Um, the boys always reference what they went over, what they're learning. So it's not just here at home. Coach uh, reinforces that with all the kids in the meetings that they have. So, you know, it's always great to hear and to see that. America's Andes Lake High School administration and staff welcome new head coaches for the school year. America's High School introduced Erica Guerrero as the new varsity volleyball coach and Jose Valle as the girls' varsity soccer coach. East Lake High School greeted Noe Velarde as the new girls' varsity soccer coach and Miguel Saldana as the new head track and field coach. I want them to, to learn the game of volleyball at the highest level while actually learning very important life lessons of teamwork, commitment, time management, sportsmanship, dedication, hard work, and making sure that the values we share for the betterment of the rest of our lives are instilled in that. I'm very, very happy to, to be here. I'm very blessed to, to have this opportunity. I do want to say thank you to Mr. Martinez. Uh, thank you, Mr. Rodriguez, for uh, giving me this opportunity. It has always been one of my goals to be a head coach. I know that we're a powerhouse, and I know that we're a family, and that's something that I wanted to be part of. But I'm very thankful to be here, and I'm ready to work. And I know that, as Mr. Martinez said, we have big shoes to fill, and, and we're ready. And last year, given that opportunity to, to work with the varsity team, I want to build on those successes. The athletes were able to uh, change for the better. Uh, they were open-minded. Uh, once that started rolling, then our season ended in a very high note. So my hopes are building on that. Yeah, they should have successes both in the classroom and uh, when they're outside of school and then of course in, in our track program. And I know me as a coach, I'm, I'm gonna be pushing for all of our student athletes to reach those goals. Uh, some of those will be definitely winning district championships and area and then into state. And then of course, making it attainable. What, what can I do for them to reach those goals? And I'm looking forward to it and we're ready to hit the ground running. Mountwood High School valedictorian Brian Gonzalez was recognized for having perfect attendance since kindergarten as well as maintaining a 4.0 GPA throughout high school. Gonzalez received a presidential scholarship from UTEP and plans to study electrical engineering. Being recognized individually for my accomplishments, for my career at SISD uh, really means a lot. It makes me feel more distinguished. Having perfect attendance and having perfect grades is an accomplishment that not many students can say they've accomplished. My parents are definitely very proud of everything I have done and hopefully I can continue the expectations and my own high expectations throughout college and my career. Everyone at SISD has definitely motivated me and made me strive for greatness.
SISD Assistant Athletic Director James Nunn was recognized as the 2020 Regional Athletic Administrator of the Year on behalf of the Texas High School Athletic Director Association. The association promotes, facilitates, and recognizes all athletic administrators and is the largest state association of its type in the country. Nunn said, the recognition is a team award which was made possible by the hard work of other athletic administrators, coaches, community, and student athletes of SISD. Nunn also shared that his personal vision statement, Compete with Integrity, is what drives him to ensure that the athletic programs, coaches, and student athletes at SISD are second to none. Team SISD hosted the Virtual State Compensatory Education Intervention. The Academy provided professional development for Sky Coaches to refine their skills, give them ideas, resources, and instruction updates to share with their campuses. This year we were doing it virtually. We still wanted to do our very best to keep them engaged because it's easy when you have them in front of you. So we try to still do icebreakers, team builders, the instructional officers, they stepped up to the challenge. Everybody came together. Everybody contributed one way or another. We, we felt very accomplished, very successful, and we were just amazed at what we were able to pull off. I was a little apprehensive going in. I was really hoping by this point in time we'd be able to be physically back. But the instructional officers did a phenomenal job of scheduling everything. And they put together a very good, very well-organized uh, calendar of events for us. All the trainings that they provide to us are always very well planned and very well thought out. And But to take that and to model it as best as they possibly could in a virtual setting, it helped put me at ease as to what that's going to translate into the classroom with our kids at our campus. I really like the fact that Sky Academy happened before we came back because that allowed us to play a little bit with the material and put it together. Overall, they did a wonderful job because they gave us a lot of tools to use and especially in the virtual setting. There's traditions already built in within Sky Academy and that there's this culture, you know, especially from the IOs that whatever we need, if we text them, they're always there for us. The Socorro High School film team, Studio S, advanced to the state level of competition for the Digital Cinema Contest in Skills USA. As a result of their success, the team had the opportunity to speak with University of Southern California Associate Professor of Cinematic Arts and Hollywood Cinematographer Tristan Whitman via Zoom meeting. It's a great opportunity for our students to really be exposed to something like this. We've always wanted to be filming all the time, and during this whole pandemic, they weren't able to do anything. So when this opportunity came up, they jumped on it. It worked really hard, and the finished product speaks for itself. The professor was really impressed with the film the kids did. I'm really grateful for all the accomplishments that I've done, and I know I worked really hard for it, and I just think it's awesome, and it makes you feel like what I worked for for so long is kind of paying off. And of course, like SISD itself, holding events for the film programs, it's just really awesome. It makes everybody in the program feel like they're a part of something, and that they can be in that field and be successful. That's our show for today. I hope you've enjoyed learning about the latest in the Socorro Independent School District. Make sure to follow us on Twitter with the Twitter handle at Socorro ISD. Follow our superintendent, Dr. Jose Espinosa, with the Twitter handle at jespinosa underscore SISD. Also be sure to friend us on Facebook and visit our website. Thank you again and see you next time.